Hello. Um, t today is um, is about the use of a statistical language or statistical software for statistical quality control or statistical process control or SPC. Okay. Um, basically, we we'll, we will try to use um, computer uh, computer program to create a control chart or. Uh, to analyze process capability or create um, other statistic involved with process control. In the market, we have lots of options that you can use. Let's say SPSS, Minitab, NCSS, Stat Graphic, JMP, Statistica, Strata, uh, SAS. All this program, um, uh, you have to pay for it. In case of R here, um, R is is free. It's created by um, uh, peoples around the world. So not just one company, but um, let's say it's a um, um, free software that people help each other to create this. It's not like uh, SPSS or Minitab or uh, commercial software. Basically, it works by putting in command line. Okay, and tell the programs to do something for you. Um, to help you better understanding, um, for comparison, R uh, is like a it's like operating system like Windows or like Mac. Um, if you want to do word processing, if you want to do word document to get some word document done, you um, you have to have or you have to buy Microsoft Word. Or if you want to do some presentation, you have to buy or uh, you have to have um, that program, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint or other software that install in the Microsoft Word or Mac. For R, it's um, if you want to do control chart, to make control chart, uh, you can do by using this library or package um, QCC. But in order for QCC to run, it have to run in core program of R. So first step, you have to download R, install R in the Windows and then um, download QCC and install package QCC. So comparison with the Microsoft Word uh, could be the same same thing. So other statistical method or procedure, um, let's say ANOVA, let's say T-test, let's say correlation, PCA, um, what else? Um, discrimination um many many statistics um you can do it in r just you have to download specific package for that and it's free okay um one bad thing about r is um, you have to put the data in like in in, in line in sentence it's not like a spreadsheet because uh, r don't have spreadsheet for you so um, many times I make some mistake let's say I put data in um, 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 um, 10 point 2 comma and something after I hit enter uh, some mistake happen or uh, what I have to do is I have to redo it again which is not easy. Um, it's not like spreadsheet, which you can insert cell, you can um, manipulate easily. But for R, you can import data uh, from many many forms. Like if you have um, data in Excel, you can um, import data from Excel. Yeah. If you have data in text formats you can use uh, you can import that data into the 
into the R programs with cheese. Um, this will, this will help you a lot um, in terms of uh, enter the data, key the data into the, the programs. Um, so first step, we have to install R. And basically, you have to follow the procedure or follow the link from um, worldwideweb.r-project.org. Um, on that page, uh, on the left panel, you will see download, and then the link below that is CRAN. Um, now let's let's um, go to that page. Okay. Um, first, go to Google's, and then search uh, statistical language. Um, here, worldwidewebr-project.org. After click this, on left panel, um, you can click clan here. Download from clan. Um, these are the links from all over the world that you can um, can download. Because if you download, if you see in Thailand and you download, let's say uh, USA might be a little bit slow or maybe it's a little bit faster than not sure um, you can download from Australia from anywhere but for me just choose the first one um, silo crowd um, and you have uh, three options one is download app from for Linux um, the second one download app for Mac and the third one download app for Windows choose the one that's suitable for your operating system or your computer for me um, i use windows so i gonna download this one and look for you can basically you you're gonna download this one base but um, it's probably the same same thing base okay so install app for the first time click this one um Again, it's, it's depend on the, your computer, um, 32 bits or 64 bit for my one is 32, but um, there we have option after you download after uh, in the in the uh, step of installation, so you have to download 83 megabyte, and. When I double click, okay, show like this, click yes. Um, language for um, setup English. Um, next, next. Uh, because I already have this uh, folder, but anyway, I'm gonna click yes. So now, if you if your computer is 32 bits choose this one like me um, if your computer 64 so select this one so for my one 32 next um, do you want to customize the startup no I don't think so I gonna choose the default okay next but I want the icon to show on the desktop so next okay now we start installing the R programs not gonna be long After we install the R programs, um, next step uh, we have to uh, install the package called QCC. That one is the package for um, statistical process control. So nearly finished. 
Okay. Okay, finish, and we should have an um, icon on the desktop. Uh, yes, this is the icon for R on the desktop. Then we click this, and it will show up the console and uh, to install the package. Um, go to this package. You have option of loading the package or um, others but I gonna choose install because I want to install the QCC package this is not the package this is the the source or resource or mirror that you can the channel that you can download so I don't think much I'm gonna choose the first one Come on, okay, show up. Um, another thing is you have to have is is um, important that um, your internet is working during the installation. So uh, now I look at QCC PQ PQ uh, QP. Come on, where is it? QCC, 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 here. Ah, I found it. QCC. And click next. Uh, click OK. Um, I should start um, downloading for you. Come on. OK. Just one package. So after finish, we're gonna uh, see whether I have already um, downloaded and installed this package or not. In order to check, just type in library, um, and put QCC inside the parentheses. Okay, now finish. If you see um, this um, this side. The red one. Um, now let's check library and QCC. Enter. Yes, you have QCC already. 